Hi, everybody. So it's been rather a long time since I last recorded anything. Um, as I said, I think at the end of 2017, that uh, that was the, the vlogging panther going to sleep back then. Um, obviously, uh, in just over a year, then a lot can happen. And I've been meaning to record something for a little bit. Uh, I did do a vlog. I believe, no, not a vlog, a blog, even last uh, October, wasn't it, when I got back from climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. So in this last week, I've met up with uh, our Laura and Owen. I've seen both of them uh, and sort of got up to speed on, on where they're at. Um, although, obviously, I stay in touch with them all the time. But uh, it was good to see them both. And what really stood out to me is... Uh, the change in their own development and their thinking, um, their, their their mindset, and and in speaking to both of them, given they're like twenty two years old, uh, and I'm forty two, it, it feels like I'm talking to somebody my own age, really, in terms of the insight, the the, the yeah, the personal mental insight and stuff that they've got. So that's been quite an interesting thing for me recently um, but when I started these vlogs first off and you'll note that this one I've taken the uh, house of music off it I'm not uh, not going to spend any time on uh, fancying the video up because uh, life quite frankly is too busy to be doing that and I have no intention of being a professional vlogger but I did start at, start this out uh, as an experiment as I said way back in that very first vlog which I remember when I made it, I thought was one of the most amazing things I'd done. But when I watched it a couple of months ago, as, as part of my planning to, to actually do this, I was actually embarrassed. I thought, oh my God, that's really boring. So uh, I kind of get why people uh, didn't really engage so much with that one. Uh, and they were a lot shorter. And, and anyway, well, if anybody wants, they can watch the whole lot. But in terms of it being an experiment, it kind of needed me to, to update where I'm at at particular points in time. So, here we are on the 10th of March 2019, I am two and a half years into my journey in Yorkshire and in Halifax, uh, and obviously a lot's happened in that time, so I started and finished my Master's degree in Enterprise, and successfully completed that with a distinction, which was no mean feat, because it was against a hell of a lot of um, challenges in my own life, some of which that I kind of recorded during that process. Um, I have had the entire roof of my flat taken off and uh, repaired and extra insulation put in and uh, put back on last summer. Although you wouldn't think so because I'm stood here in my flat in a, uh, a woolly hat and a scarf because uh, now I have to pay back all the loads and all the financial arrangements I made to get me through the last two and a half years. Um, and uh, this month is a little bit tricky, so I've decided to go without heating um, just for a little bit. But overall, that's not really an issue. That's all, all part of the journey. Uh, it was an investment I made to be able to get to where I'm at. Uh, it's been really great. I've got five brand new windows, which uh, in one of the earlier vlogs I recorded about. Uh, that was I was told no I couldn't do it um, and way back when when I found out what it was going to cost the roof I talked about sitting on my sofa and crying because I thought I was going to lose my flat but uh, a great achievement I think personal achievement turning that round and getting not only one window but but five um, and I'm currently in the process of redecorating the bathroom uh, and, and transforming that transforming that space uh, what else have I done I climbed Kilimanjaro that was great uh, there's a blog on that on my LinkedIn uh, which kind of, so I'm not going to go into that in any great detail, but one of the things that came out of that is that I got on really, really well with with Luke Ambler, who founded uh, and his Man Club and, and does his own stuff with with his motivational speaking and the BU Journal, which is something that I use on a daily basis now and really helps. So journaling something else that I've really picked up with um, and taken forward, as is mindfulness. Every day now I start uh, with mindfulness I've been doing it for 456 consecutive days I believe headspace um, and it's it's so part of my habit that uh, I just do it naturally now I also get up at well this is an interesting one it was about half past five for about a month now it's 
been quarter to five for the past week, and tomorrow uh, I think I'm going to go to half past four. Um, and my ability to do that relates to other circumstances that have come along. So I'm now in a job working locally at the local college. Uh, it's 15 minutes walk. It's a great environment. Uh, it felt like the right place. It felt like the right kind of boss to work with. So I work in a maintenance slash security job. Um, which somebody with practically four degrees, I'm hugely overqualified for, but I love it, it's perfect. It does just what I need right now. I'm, I'm skilling myself up in some practical skills that I can use at home. I'm meeting loads of people that could potentially help with, with my network in the future. It's mentally, it's not a hugely challenging job, which gives me the, the brain space and brain power. Well, no, what capacity, that's the word I want. It gives me the brain capacity to then work on my, uh, my own business in the rest of the time. Um, for those that want to know, the business, Pit Design, that uh, will piece it together design, is still going. Uh, so I've made it past the magic two year point with that. I'm not making vast amounts of money from it as yet, but in terms of the progress and where it's at and where it's going, all of the learning pretty much for my enterprise course, I can now see how that overlays onto the business, having two years experience of, of running that business. And uh, it's just a matter of time, really. I'm still on my own. I was working with somebody else very briefly. Um, she's had to now just step back a bit because uh, she's got other things going on. Hopefully, she'll rejoin me. Uh, but I just last week have initiated a project with um, some other people. I'm not going to say too much, but basically that's to develop the marketing side of the business. And I have loads and loads of craft fairs planned for this year. Um, so it's all great and I think that's probably just about enough uh, in the middle of cooking my tea and obviously because I'm getting up half past four I need to go to bed and it's now half eight so it's been great to catch up I hope you've enjoyed this and who knows when the next one will be cheers <laughs>